Hi, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I've picked up the camera to vlog and that's actually because my grandparents are here for my sister's graduation and my grandparents just require a lot of attention and time and care. At the same time, I just have a lot of stuff going on in my professional life. So like my personal and professional life just got a little bit crazy and so I couldn't really take the time to vlog and edit the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed the Hawaii vlog. It's not a traditional Hawaiian travel vlog. There's not a lot of stuff at the beach or, you know, doing like fun adventures in Hawaii. And that's because we were there with my grandparents and since they're a lot older, they can't be in the sun too long and they don't like the beach because of the sand. But, you know, spending time with family is always something to treasure so I think it's still worth um, putting a vlog together so that I can remember those moments that I had with my grandparents so now I took this last week to kind of just readjust to my professional life and now I'm finally picking up the vlog camera so today is Sunday and I'm gonna be doing my vlogs like Sunday to Saturday edit throughout the week and then upload on Sunday start a new vlog on Sunday so hopefully um, people like that if not sorry that's just kind of where it works with my schedule but anyways right now I'm headed to LAX to pick up my sister after Hawaii she flew my grandparents back to Korea and then she's flying back today so I'm gonna go pick her up okay anyways check in with guys sometime later today so my sister woke up and the best part of a sister coming back from Korea is when she hooks you up with face masks, all these face masks, pimple stickers, socks, primer, right? You said primer, hair ties, K Beauty, and snacks. So I'm so excited. Hopefully, these face masks make me look 100. <laughs> So, my sister and I decided to try out some of the face masks that she got me in Korea. It's really hard to talk. This one is like real extra. I'll be looking really good tomorrow, hopefully. And my sister. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this face mask is really intense. The top is like that irregular sheet mask. like. I think I'm gonna be able to you. I have to put subtitles. Okay, it's like that really mi milky, but then down here is like sticky, yeah. and then you like stretch it behind your ear. I don't know. This is gonna make me look like I got a nice no dull chin. Hopefully not, but we'll see. So it's the Oreo Kale, the Nacho. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Hey, veggie grill like once a week. This is the all hail kale, crispy cauliflower, mondo nacho with grilled chicken, and those are the kung fu fries. It's my first time getting that, but these three is what we always get, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, sorry that I'm so red. I just got back from the gym, but I remembered that I had gotten a package right before I left from Hawaii from Honey Pop. And if you don't know, this is Miss Remy Ashton's like merch. Um, she, instead of doing like the classic look like YouTube, like clothing merch and like phone cases and stuff, she came out with this like do it yourself face mask kit and acne treatment. So yeah, I ordered it because I don't know, like merch is pretty hard for me to buy because I don't wear a ton of color and a lot of YouTubers do merch that's very colorful and um, yeah, it's just not my aesthetic that I prefer to wear on my body, except in Hawaii, I did wear a little bit of color. But yeah, I love seeing that the merch that, we, that they come out with, but I don't think I'd ever like spend my own money just because it's a little bit too colorful for me. But when Remy came out with this, I was like, this is super cool. I really want to try this out. So this is like, I guess like my first YouTuber merch, except I have bought Nikki B and Gymshark collab 
gym clothes, which I absolutely love, and I wear that to the gym, so. Okay, so I actually watched her YouTube videos on like how to use this, so I'm pretty excited. I guess you get to pick like um, between these two, one being the Deep Puffing Magic Serum, and the other one being the Immaculate Pores Clear Vibes Acne Treatment. So yeah, I would say in terms of acne right now, I know this is gonna sound weird, but for my skin, this is a lot. Um, I have like a huge blemish here. I have smaller blemishes here and on my forehead and my nose. And for me, that's a lot because I take pretty good care of my skin and I was blessed with great genetics, which is weird because my sister has acne, but yeah. But I was blessed with like good genes that I don't tend to break out that much. So for me, this is a lot. Um, so I'm going to try out putting, I guess, like a good amount of the acne treatment and then some of the deep puffing magnet, the deep puffing magic serum, and see how that goes. So starting off with, ooh, she gives you this cute little bowl and mixing spatula. So starting off with the base. Since I'm just doing it myself, I'm not gonna make that much. I'm just gonna make a tiny amount and see how it goes. Okay. So I'm putting that much base and I could have actually taken this to Hawaii with me because it says Aloha Rosy Island Glow. So, so this is the exfoliating jelly. Exfoliating jelly. And then, yeah, this is the acne treatment. And she was saying that this smells really good, so I'm gonna smell. Hmm. I don't think it's my cup of tea in terms of smell, but it doesn't smell bad. So, I think I'm gonna go in with maybe five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Not gonna lie, she killed it on the color because that is gorgeous. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking I might need to make more to put on my face, but we'll see. And this is the Deep Puffing Magic Serum. So, okay, probably gonna go in with, I don't know, three drops of this? I don't really know, I'm just guessing. One, two, oh, this one's, oh, that's thick. Mm. This one was a lot thicker. Should I have, like, shaken it up or something? Hopefully that's okay. So, yeah, that's everything in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, if it doesn't work out this time, I'll do this again and whatnot, so. Should I try to apply this on camera? Mm. Together, everything smells like fine. I mean, I think this is like if you like very Tropicana sunblock ish, like that smell profile, this is probably more for you. That's not my personal smell profile. I actually prefer like fruits, I love like fruit scents, so. Me. Next, I need to make a tad bit more. See how much surface area I can cover. Oh, yeah. Oh. I should have put like an extra mirror like by my desk before I did this, but you know. Actually, I think I need the perfect amount for my face. Oh, yeah. Killing. Oh. Well, that needs to go and wash. The jelly, exfoliating jelly feels really good when I touch it with my fingers. Okay, JK. I may have needed to make a little bit more. I can't tell. I don't know. I don't think you have to go into like such a thick layer for this thing because I'm feeling it on my face for sure. Well, in Remy's video, she basically says she goes in with the spatula and then like spreads it more with her finger. So I'm gonna do that in front of a bathroom mirror and then come back. All right. 
Okay, so I actually made the perfect amount and I look really, really funny. Um, but yeah, I spread it evenly around my skin and it was the perfect amount. And it tingles for sure, but it's not a burning. It's more like a, like a minty tingle. I don't hate it. I know, I guess it kind of, for me, tells me that the mask is working. Basically, I think Remy was saying leave it on for like 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, um, I'll probably leave it on for 30 just so I can get the full effect and then after that wash it off and I will let you know how my skin feels. Okay, bye. Okay, hi, it's been about 30 minutes and it's totally dry. The tingling feeling went away as it dried and actually the smell is like nice because it's not potent so like as it stays on your face you don't keep having to smell it so let me wash it off and then give you my ultimate feedback okay hi I'm back um, after rinsing it off like when you're rinsing it you're like exfoliating your face and I think because of the exfoliation obviously your skin feels a lot softer because you're like removing that first dead skin layer or whatever and like getting out all the dirt and grime my face instantly does look brighter, I will say, off the bat. And in terms of my acne, the puffiness of my pimple right here did decrease just a little bit. I think I will need to like continue to use a product to say like how it affects my acne and stuff. But yeah, so far I do like it and I will continue to use it. I think I'm going to take it to Temecula slash San Diego this weekend when I'm with my boyfriend, have him try it out, and then maybe have him give his input. Not that he knows a ton about skincare, but I think like Actually, it's good to see how like other people who don't know much about skincare respond to products because I think they can give like very like general and like how it feels to them kind of feedback. But yeah, um, love it. Great job, Remy, and hi and happy Friday. I'm headed to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's right now because my boyfriend and I are going on a mini staycation this weekend in Temecula. So I'm going to pick up some food and things like that for us to enjoy while we're on our staycation. So. Okay, sorry if my aircon is loud in the car, but I was inside Trader Joe's and I've been seeing this blow up on the internet, the spicy cheese countries spicy cheese crunchies and actually my boyfriend told me about this it's supposed to be like healthy hot cheetos if you know me you know i love hot cheetos hot cheetos are the reason that i have a fat ass so i really want to be tidy i'm sitting in the parking lot because i'm eager and i hope no one thinks i'm weird talking to a camera eating hot cheetos They're not as good as Hot Cheetos, off the bat. They're very cheesy. I'm not a big fan of cheese. Like, Hot Cheetos aren't really cheesy. Like, even though they're called Hot Cheese Toes or whatever, they're, they're not cheesy. These are very cheesy. And... They have like this sour note to them. Almost like the lime ones, Hot Cheetos, but. I mean, they're good. I would eat them. I think people call them a substitute because if I eat this, am I gonna go and buy another bag of Hot Cheetos? Probably not. But I'm not gonna tell anyone or even myself that these are as good as Hot Cheetos. But a decent healthy sub for sure. How many of these can I eat? happy Saturday we got to our Airbnb last night but it was too dark to film so let me give you a mini tour of our Airbnb tiny house so first there was a sign here that said welcome 
Blair and Jared. That's me and my boyfriend. And the inside, you walk into this day bed, open like living room where we just put our stuff. Kitchen. The kitchen has like a cooktop and sink and everything. And then up here is the bed that we slept on. And then look at this view. So this is the view. Outside has this like deck with the outdoor day bed, seating area, and yeah. doing the Honey Pop Beauty face mask by Miss Remy Ashton and actually my boyfriend pointed this out which I didn't mention earlier is that it smells like Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice. So that is a smell comparison that he's making. So we're going to leave it on for 30 minutes and then we're going to tell you how it feels. Okay so yeah we just finished. Wash them off. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice and soft. soft. Yeah. Thumbs up. Two Would, thumbs up. Oh, two thumbs up? Mm. Would you do it again? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of work to wash it off. Yeah, he got really lazy washing it off, so he started just wiping it off with the towel. So now we have a very purple towel. <laughs> Anyways, this is the end of this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed our adventures in this tiny home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly vlogs.